Hello, one and all. Mainly one, Isa. I want to take this trip home. It's going to be a while. It's about an hour and 15 minute drive to really log my stories. As I get older, I forget about the stories from when I was little. And when I do remember them, there's no one around to share them with or get their opinion or their um, reaction. So this story, it brings me back to Mexico when I was about six to eight, eight years old. I was in fourth grade in Mexico. This little village called El Pinsan Colorado in Michoacán. And it was during recess, what we would consider the equivalent of recess. We were playing uh, kind of like freeze tag, right? But uh, we would normally often climb trees to get away from whoever's trying to tag you. And I remember this little girl, a friend of ours, she was pale, almost like an albino uh, girl for the area, right? Um, I can't remember her name anymore. So she's being chased by one of my friends it was Gilberto maybe and she climbs up to this dead tree and most of the trees are dead other than pinzanas and mango trees over there uh, this particular tree that she climbed onto was was a dead tree and as she's going up the up the tree she she goes into one of the branches and the branch breaks uh, and the little girl falls falls down with the branch uh, when I seen her down on the ground because I, I heard the uh, the branch break, so I turned and I see this little girl uh, with a branch sticking through her chin and through her mouth and it got stuck on the top of her mouth and her mouth is open and she's trying to scream uh, and cry at the same time. And then as white as she was, the blood coming out was nice and bright red and we're all freaking out all the kids are screaming and, and it catches the the attention of one of the maestros one of the teachers and i think he was the only one that really had a, a vehicle and he had a little punch buggy so he he rushes to her picks her up uh the branch broke off the the, the thing that was spiked through her mouth broke off so he picked her up and put her in the back seat and he took off probably to the nearest town with medical uh, facilities and that was that uh recess was over and we went back inside to the classroom because it's one classroom for all of us whether you're first grade or uh sixth grade and I never seen that little girl again. I don't know if she lived. I don't know if she died. I can't imagine that she died because the, although the spike went through, uh, I was, I don't think it was anything life threatening now as an adult knowing a little bit of the anatomy. Um, but yeah, that's one of the stories that I, I don't know why it got in my head, um, but I figured I would use this opportunity to log this memory and then maybe reference it down the road and I'll be doing some more stuff like this mainly for myself and my immediate family members uh, and obviously if they choose to share it I don't plan to share anything other than uh, posting it on my YouTubes for myself and maybe my kids to watch Peace out.